I'm Starla and welcome back to my channel for day two. Today I'll be making enchiladas my way. So let's get to cooking. First thing I need to wash my hands. Okay guys, so for this meal, I'm using two packages of ground meat. I have cayenne pepper, Cajun seasoning. I might use a little bit, garlic powder, I have some Taco Bell mild taco sauce, uh, Lara season salt, onion powder. I have two cans of red enchilada sauce and one can of chili. Okay guys, so, and some chopped up onion. My onion and tomatoes are right here. I've already washed my tomatoes and as you can see, I have tortillas, shredded lettuce, Velveeta cheese, and sour cream. Velveeta makes everything better. Okay, y'all. I'll be right back when I get the meat inside the pan. As you can see, I already have put my meat in the pan, and I'm going to go ahead and put my onion in there. You can put as much or as less onion as you like. To me, the more onion, the better. Because it's really not going to overtake it once you get it cooked up. Once I get it chopped up, I'll go ahead and season it up real good. Cause nothing is like some good old enchiladas, honey, with some flavor. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Okay. Everything needs to have a little heat. So, putting a little cayenne pepper like that. I'm gonna add a little garlic powder. A lot of seasoning salt to me tastes good on everything. Okay, and onion powder is always good. So, that's enough seasoning. I'm going to go ahead and ground this meat up. And once I get it ground up, then I'll come back and show you the next thing. Okay guys, while my, while my meat is cooking, I'm going to go ahead and pour a can of this enchilada sauce in my pot. It's just going to be in there for right now until my meat gets cooked. And uh, I'll turn it on low heat and I'm going to set that back to the side. I'll be right back. Okay guys, so now my meat has browned and I'm going to take it off and drain it real quick. to this meat. Excuse me. Hold on one anybody is wondering, yes, my dishwater does have bleach in it. I put bleach in it every time. I'm cooking anything. Okay. So now I'm going to come over here and get my can of chili. And I'm going to mix that in. Thank you. 
Okay. So now I'm going to come back over here. I'm going to stir all of this up. And some of you may wonder, why is it kind of like watery and juicy? Trust and believe. Once I get it all wrapped up and get everything in the oven, it'll come together real nice. Okay. So, I'm going to let this simmer for a little bit. And I'll come right back. Okay, guys. So, as you can see, I have let my meat cook down a little bit. And I took some of it and I put it in my pan. And now I have my sauce. I'm going to just set this on here and let it cook. For about maybe five minutes. Okay. My meat and everything ready. I'm gonna go ahead and roll some of them up to get the process started. So what I'll do is I'll come over here. I'll add sauce. Add cheese and I'll roll it, turn it upside down like this, and I'll lay it in the pan. Roll it and fold it. Now that I've already um, rolled my tortillas up, let me get this up just a little bit. What I'll do is, I'll come over here and I'll put this tortilla sauce on the top. I'm going to rub it over, rub it over all of the tortillas. You kind of want all of them. You want them to make sure that they're soft. You don't want any of them to be dry. Okay? Then the remaining meat that I have. Some people may say, girl, that's not the right way how to make no enchiladas. Well, guess what, baby? It's the way my mama showed me. And it's the way I saw my mama's mama make them. And if it was good enough for them, then guess what? It sure is good enough for me. And now, I'll take the Velveeta and I'll just sprinkle it all across the top. Cheese. Spread some out over here. Okay. 
Okay, now it's going to go in the oven for about maybe 20 minutes. And I'll go to the next phase. Guys, so by now, my enchiladas are ready. I'm going to go ahead and turn my oven off and take them out the oven. Look at that. See how cheesy that is? That's how you want it. Good and cheesy. So now, what I'm going to do is over here and I'm gonna cut this down the middle just take your sp spatula like that and cut it down the middle and I'm gonna come back right here I'm going to come over here and I'm going to add me a little lettuce on top. I'm going to put me some tomatoes. A little sour cream. And I'm going to sprinkle me a little taco seasoning. Okay guys, so I'm finished cooking and this is my plate, lasagna, my way, my way. And I have Coke, I'm going to say my grace, dear Lord, thank you for this food, let it nourish our bodies the way, in the way it was intended, in Jesus name I pray, amen. Okay guys, let me taste some of this. I've been waiting all day for this. Mm -hmm. That's good, y'all. The meat, the sauce, the cheese, the lettuce, the sour cream, and tomatoes. Honey, when it hits your palate, it melts in your mouth. 